and a woolen scarf. Cashmere's better if you have it. The woolen scarf. Oh, 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 if I knew something was going on. I tiptoe into the bathroom at night and I pray, oh God, please help me to save my marriage. Please tell me what to do. Oh God, help me to save it. Please. And I'd hear Sydney in the bedroom going, please God, make her shut up. Please make her be quiet. Please God. Oh. Are you coming out? Okay. I got your scar. Oh. Oh. oh, thank you. I'm not a complainer. <laughs> Sydney wears a toupee three sizes too big. He looks like an English sheepdog. I never said a word. Oh. Stop. Oh. You're tensing up again. Oh. Now he's into cowboy boots. Five foot three and a half, and he wears cowboy boots. They come up to his knees. He looks like he jumped off a hundred foot horse. Oh, and he's studying language at the local university. He's taking Russian. Instead of yes, everything's da. He walks around the house saying da. Will you relax? Oh, Relax, your neck oh, feels like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm married to a five foot three and a half man with an oversized toupee that wears cowboy boots. <laughs> and he walks around saying, da. And he walks out on me. Well, stop, just relax a little bit. Oh, I can't. I think I'm going crazy. I think I should be put into an institution. Later, if the massage doesn't work. Oh, that doesn't smell like Ben Gay. You're right, it's toothpaste. Uh, I don't think that's working. Because you won't relax. Have you always been this tense? Since I was a baby, I could chew through a thick sirloin steak with just my gums. Oh. Lean over. Oh. Oh. oh, I do crazy things, Olive. I cry. I panic. I get hysterical. Let oh. me know if this is hurting, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh. I abuse our friendship. I take advantage of you. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I do. I see you grit your teeth every time I talk to you. Your teeth used to be much longer. <laughs> oh. Well, is that better? Oh, a little bit, but it never lasts long. Well, maybe this time. Uh, I just came back. Drink your brandy, you'll feel better. Oh, I can't, it won't go down. I'll get you a plunger. Now drink the brandy. Well, uh, thank God the kids are away at summer camp. They'll be spared this till September. Uh, Please drink the brandy. Oh, how am I going to get through this? I don't want to get divorced. Oh, tell me what to do. Well, first what we're going to do is you and I are going to sit down and we'll, start a, we'll figure out a whole new life for you. A life without Sydney? What kind of life is there without Sydney? I live without Sydney and I'm quite happy. You can do it. Oh, you're supposed to be my friend. Tell me what to do. Help you? How can I help you and I can't even help myself? I've been sloppy since I was a kid. I got married in a wedding dress with Coca-Cola stains on it. My mind is into other things. I like to write. I like to paint. I like photography. I don't like cleaning up. I make a mess when I just read a book. I don't do it for myself. I want Sydney to come home to a clean house. I want the kids to have self-respect. How else are they going to learn? What's the point? They throw dirt on you anyway. That's true. You want to know how I got through it? How? I had fun. I drank for four days and five nights. I didn't work. I ate a quart of Haagen-Dazs Jamocha almond fudge every night. 
I gained 14 pounds, seven on each hip. I looked like I was carrying my laundry in my pockets. But I got through it. You can do it. Well, then tell me how to do it. I just did. No, just walk through the path. That's what I said. That's it. That's all I did. Well, what about Cindy? What's he going to do? He's human too. He's a man. Men have freedom. He can meet women anywhere. We have to donate a kidney and hope he's grateful and single. Cindy's thinking about other women at a time like this? I guarantee it. Tomorrow night I'll be at the nearest singles bar sitting on a bar stool on top of two telephone books. <laughs> you really think so? Ugh. Uh, ah! What are you doing? <laughs> My ears are clogged up. I have a sinus condition. <laughs> Job back. Great idea. Who'd you work for? Sydney. Oh, God. <laughs> oh damn me. I'm such an idiot. Oh, I hate me. You, I, I got you. don't hate you. You think you're the only one with problems? I happen to know you're more in love. I've never seen anyone so in love with themselves. If you had two extra pieces, you could take yourself out dancing. You're supposed to be my friend. That's why I can talk to you like this. Oh, I don't know what to do, Olive. You know what? What? You're going to sleep here tonight. Tomorrow night you'll go home. Tomorrow you'll go home. Pack up your aftershave lotion, your sinus medications, and you'll move in here with me. You want me to move in here with you? Mm-hmm. I'd be a pest. Of course you will. I'm the one that named you that. But I'll just be in the way. I know you will. Well, if you really mean it, you know, I could do a lot with this place. I could turn it into something out of architectural digest. Sports Illustrated would be fine. Ooh. Do you have a pad? I'm going to start making out the, the menus for the week. No menus. I like to eat out. Oh, no, no, no. We'll eat breakfast and dinner at home. We'll save a fortune because I'm not taking one penny from Sydney. Wait, 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 wait. Let's not be too hasty. You said have self-respect. How can you have self-respect if you take money? <laughs> money is one area where self-respect doesn't matter. <laughs> no. I'm going to show Sydney what I can do. I can stand on my own two feet. I'll show him. I'll show him. Right. Well, let's get some sleep tonight. I have another career besides you. <laughs> Mm. 
you recognize the font? I think it's Sydney. I recognize his ring. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Sydney. Don't tell him I'm here. You haven't seen me. Don't tell him I'm here. You haven't seen me. I haven't called. You don't know where I am. Yes, she's here. I told you not to tell him that. Don't tell him that. I told her not to tell him that. <laughs> yes, she told me everything. Well, personally, I think she's taking it very well. I am not taking it well. I'm taking it like a crazy woman. You think this is taking it well? Eva, do you think this is taking it well? No. no. Well, I, I, I know you have, Sydney. You've been wonderful. God bless you. Don't God bless him. He sneezed. What do you want from me? I'm sorry. Well, what's he saying? What's he saying? Tell me what he's saying. You don't want to speak to him? I want to speak to him. Let me speak to him. Give me the phone. Cindy, do you want to speak to her? He doesn't want to speak to you. He doesn't want to talk to me? No. Well, what is he saying? All right, Cindy. I'll talk to you later. All right. He didn't want to talk to me? Nope. Well, then what did he call for? He wanted to make sure you were all right. Oh, he did. He wanted to say that you're a wonderful mother and a wonderful wife, and he loved you very much. Oh, he said that. What else did he say? It wasn't important. What else did he say? It was nothing. What else did he say? But as a woman, you're crazy as a bed bug. Oh, really? Is that what the short little hairless cowboy said? <laughs> You tell him when you see him, he won't find a woman better than me if he looks for a thousand years. No. Which, which room do you want? One that looks over New Jersey, the other can, you can check out a guy that sleeps naked. You know, I just realized, just this minute, my marriage is really over. He just made me realize that. All right, well. Let's start your life over tomorrow. Tonight, let's get some sleep. I'm going to bed. <coughs> you know, I think I can really get through this thing, Olive. I think I can do this now. I'm going to get through this. I'm getting divorced. Yeah, that's fine. Tomorrow. Let's go to bed tonight. I'm going to stay up for a little bit. You got a pad? I want to make out some notes and stuff. No menus. Yes, I don't I am not making a commitment to a roast chicken. Oh, I can cook us some great stuff. Let me make out. Just make a list. Give me a few minutes. I think better. I'm going to clean up a little bit. I think if better. If you want to clean, clean go and clean the elevator. <laughs> no, dogs vomit in there. <laughs> you know, Olive? Yes? I never thought of you being lonely. How did you live here all by yourself without being so lonely? We'll see. Did you dirty bastard? I can't live without you.